Hello, and welcome to Team Jelly Beans Kindergarten. I just wanted to give you a little tour through our classroom before Meet the Teacher Night this Thursday. This is the door that your children walk through from the kindergarten playground first thing in the morning. Right away they come into our boot shoe area where they take off their outdoor boots and shoes and place them on this shelf. Then they make their way into our classroom. The first place that they come to is our coat room where they hang up their coats, they put their backpacks under the bench and pull out that important clear plastic snack bag that I have sent home for each child. That snack bag is then taken over to their cubby. Each child has their own cubby and the snack bag gets placed into the cubby until it's activity time and they choose to go to snack. When they open their cubby, their indoor shoes are sitting waiting for them. So the shoes come out and go on their feet and the snack bag goes into the cubby waiting for snack time. Then they make their way over to our carpet where we have our first meeting of the day. We start with O Canada and then usually what we do for our beginning meeting time is we look at a piece of text. We go through a modeled and shared read of the text and then it becomes familiar enough that the children can use it for reading around the room. We also usually have what we call a brain break during that time that is focused on some literacy based activities such as finding letters or words around the room and then we usually have a read aloud to go along with that. Our read aloud yesterday was Franklin Goes to School. Once it's time for activities the children will get their activity card. This card allows them to plan their time during activity time. They choose the activities that they are most interested in. They bring it over to our planning board and they place the card on the hook beside the activity they want to go to. Once they are finished at that activity, they come back to the planning board and move their card to the next activity that they want to go to. You'll notice that there are a certain number of hooks beside each picture clue. That monitors how many children can go to that center at one time. If the center is full, we encourage children to talk to each other and ask somebody to come and get them when they're finished. One center that you're probably very interested in is this one, the one with the apple picture. That is our snack center. It is open all morning and all afternoon during activity time. It is a choice whether your child chooses to go and eat their snack. They simply place their card on a snack hook and then go back to their cubby to get that clear plastic snack bag with their snack in it, which they bring to our snack table right here where they can sit and eat and it's, it's a very social time when they're sitting there with their friends. Let me show you some of the other activity areas around our classroom. I'm going to go clockwise. We have a, a room that joins our classroom to Miss Lloyd's classroom and in this room we have two building centers. One is our Duplo Center and one is our Lassie Table. Both are building centers, very popular. This is our magnetic letter board where children practice matching the big magnetic letters. Sometimes it's matching a capital to a capital, and sometimes it's matching a capital to a lowercase. Right beside that is our overhead. At our overhead right now, the children are working on learning to print their name. So they find their name card in the basket of names, put it on the overhead, and then when the overhead is turned on, it will shine, the name will shine onto the whiteboard. Next to that, we have our listening center. And right beside that, of course, our bathroom, a very important area for children to know, and our sand center. Right now in our water center, we're talking about water wheels and how the water wheels work. Your job at that water center right now is to stay dry while you figure out how the water wheels work. And right beside that is our painting center where we have artists create beautiful portraits and pictures. There's our door to the hallway 
and you'll notice right beside that there is a mat on the floor. This mat is for building with the big blocks. The mat gives them the limited space that they can build. So they have to be really creative about what they're building and contain it on that carpet. And right beside that is our cut and paste table. We're going to carry on to our puppet theater where right now we have the story of five little monkeys that we have already used in a large group setting and we have a finger puppet with the little monkeys that they can perform the play again. This is our writing table where children practice writing. Right now they're practicing writing their name. So they have a name puzzle. They can come and find the pieces and put their name together. They can make a name pencil with their name already on it. They can work on their keyboard skills. Lots of different things to do. This is our number center. Right now we're working with dinosaurs. Somebody yesterday decided they were going to sort the dinosaurs. So they've sorted them by color. We have two standalone computers. And then if we make our way around here, we have our science center, center where they're working with um, technology. They're working with um, use of simple machines such as a stapler, hole punch, and scissors. And then we have our farm center where we have done a book during our math time called We Can See Three and they're creating or retelling the story of We Can See Three with the farm animals. This center also requires that they sign in. So you can see that children have been practicing signing in their name on the whiteboard. The final center is our house corner, our dress up center. Very popular and you'll notice that when it comes to tidy up time, again, there's an organization piece already in place for them to know where to put the tools, the phones, the food, and the dishes. Two more centers that I want to show you. We have an iMac computer that right now we have the story of Chicka Chicka Boom Boom on. And children can watch the short video of Chicka Chicka Boom Boom and then they can retell the story using the Velcro letters. And our sticking them on our tree. And the final piece is our smart board, which Today we're going to introduce Finding Your Name. I hope I see you on Meet the Teacher Night. Some things to think about when you come, asking your child, where is their cubby? What do they know about using the planning board? What do they do when it's snack time? How do they know when it's snack time? What is their favorite activity in our classroom? Hope to see you on Thursday night.